Fellow Ghanaians, good evening. This is the third time in the last 10 days that I've come into your homes to give you an update on the progress of our fight against the coronavirus pandemic. I'm going to be providing you regular updates. On Sunday, 15th March, I briefed you about the enhanced measures taken by government to deal with the virus, which has so far infected 19 persons in the country. Unfortunately, one person who tested positive for the virus but had serious underlying health complications passed away in the early hours of today. I'm reliably informed that all the other 18 persons are doing well and are responding to treatment. Indeed, eight of them are being managed from their homes in isolation. I am deeply humbled by the widespread nature of the support from you, the Ghanaian people, for the measures I have taken so far. Let me also commend both sides of Parliament for the expeditious and responsible manner in which they handled the passage of the Imposition of Restrictions Act, to which I have given assent. This morning, I chair the daily interministerial committee meeting on our coronavirus response to review the current position. I'm encouraged by the numbers of Ghanaians who are observing the prescribed social distancing and enhanced hygiene protocols announced earlier. However, it has become necessary to take additional measures to stem the spread of the virus and protect the lives of our people. We must do everything within our power to contain the spread of the virus. Firstly, all our borders that is by land, sea, and air, will be close to human traffic for the next two weeks, beginning midnight on Sunday. Anybody who comes into the country before midnight on Sunday will be mandatorily quarantined and tested for the virus. This closure will not apply to goods, supplies, and cargo. Secondly, the Ministry of Health will not only step up its contact tracing efforts, but will also see to it that all persons who have been identified as having come into contact with infected persons are tested for the virus. More personal protection equipment are being procured to beef up supplies for our frontline health workers. 50,000 additional test kits have been ordered and are expected in the country very shortly. Thirdly, the Ministry of Health is mobilizing new and retired healthcare professionals to augment our preparedness in dealing with the possible surge in infections. It is heartening to hear the numbers of retired healthcare professionals who have stepped forward to offer their services. Just as it is to note the Ghanaian entrepreneurs who have responded to this crisis by producing greater quantities of sanitizers and Veronica buckets. Let me reiterate my appeal to members of the pharmaceutical industry to scale up their domestic production of pharmaceutical products. Government will do its best to support them. As I've stated before, there will be a constant review of the measures announced, and if necessary, enhanced. Fellow Ghanaians, the cases of localized infections require that we maintain strict self-discipline and continue to practice prescribed social distancing and enhanced protocols in all aspects of our daily lives. We must wash our hands regularly, 
use alcohol-based sanitizers, stop shaking hands, and avoid unnecessary close body contact. I am pleading with each and every one of you, comply with these measures. Our survival is in our own hands. Whilst we continue to adhere to these measures and wrap up our efforts to defeat this virus, I urge all of us also to seek the face of the Almighty. So on Wednesday, 25th March 2020, I appeal to all Ghanaians, Christians and Muslims to observe a national day of fasting and prayer. Let us pray to God to protect our nation and save us from this pandemic. I thank the men and women of God who prayed for the nation with me on Thursday and with the Vice President on Friday for their intervention. I applaud the efforts and courage of Ghanaians in the forefront of the fight against the virus. Health workers, immigration officials, customs officials, civil aviation officials, airport staff, port health officials, police and military personnel, and other essential service providers for this yeoman's work you're doing. Our nation is deeply in your debt. Fellow Ghanaians, all the government is doing is intended to achieve five key objectives. Limit and stop the importation of the virus. Contain its spread. Provide adequate care for the sick. Limit the impact of the virus on social and economic life. And inspire the expansion of our domestic capability and deepen our self-reliance. There are obvious difficulties ahead of us, and we should all brace ourselves to face them. I will be transparent with you and not shirk from sharing with you the realities of our situation. But I am determined to take whatever steps are necessary to safeguard our society, our economy, and our future. I remain confident that together, and by the grace of God, we shall overcome. This too will pass. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make us great and strong. Have a good night, and I thank you for your attention.